Diffuse pollution is basically rainfall or snow melt driven pollution. So it's all the pollution that's sitting on the land and gets washed into streams and rivers when it rains. It's important to reduce diffuse water pollution because it is the remaining bastion of pollution. And if you consider each time it rains, there's quite a large loading sitting on the land after a long dry period, that can be significant in pollution terms. In catchment sensitive farming, we're targeting our work on the areas that fail key directives that are European. So these are bathing and shellfish waters, which relate to faecal pollution, drinking water, both surface and groundwater, and those tend to relate to nitrate pollution of groundwater and pesticides on the whole of surface water and um, triple SIs or SACs, so wildlife sites that are designated that are failing due to water related, usually nutrient enrichment. When we took this farm on it had previously been a livestock farm and uh, we took the farm on uh, as an arable unit and it's a very very steep field with a clay cap and clay loams on both sides and we had a lot of soil erosion on both sides of the slopes. Um, we put in a, a runoff buffer into what was actually a previous field gateway and the inherent problems were soil washing off the slopes directly into and onto the road and down into the village. So we corrected this by blocking off the gateway, moving the gateway further up the field and putting a runoff buffer which was basically uh, an 8 metre by 8 metre by 1 metre depth. Um, resource protection barrier which took a lot of the uh, water runoff from the field and, and, and captured it then into the uh, sediment trap. Um, within the first year we from the two traps we took out between four to four and a half tons of topsoil um, and, and with nutrients obviously enclosed in that and then uh, the, the two years since then we haven't actually taken much away because we've had very dry winters. On the, on the other side of the hill we also had um, issues, uh, we, re, we redrained an area which had a, a spring sort of halfway up the slope, um, uh, so we put a herringbone drainage system in and then we put a, a ditch alongside the, fit, the six metre margin uh, with a short pipe then into uh, an off ditch wetland and this is, this is captured in itself somewhere in the region of about three and a half tonnes of, of soil uh, within the first year and what it's done is to now avoid that soil that used to go down over a bank and then into the lane below. It was relatively easy to construct, um, it was basically half a day uh, with a JCB and, and half a day with a, a dump trailer so effectively about £250. Our main concern was uh, with the local community because obviously when we took the farm on there was uh, inherent issues with soil washing down uh, into the village and also you know, the other consequences of nitrates getting into the streams and, and the rivers uh, within that catchment as well. Um, there's lots of different options for us. Um, it, it's worked well with having off ditch wetland and um, <coughs> the um, runoff buffer and it's really horses of courses. It depends on, on your soil type and your sort of degree of slope and, and what problems have you got but those two work really well for us.